just before the news, we received this video from Flat Gap in Johnson County. We also have a reporter in that area tonight. We'll have more at 11, but just take a look at this and listen to the hail. We've received reports of up to baseball-sized hail from a storm that moved through parts of the Big Sandy region today. Several viewers have also sent us pictures of cars with significant damage, windows busted out, and when you have baseball-sized hail, uh, Shane, I mean, that can do some serious damage. It can even hurt people if you're out in it. Yeah, it really can. Uh, that hail, large, I mean, baseball size, that's about like that. That's mm -hmm. enough to knock a person unconscious or uh, give you a concussion if it hits you. So uh, definitely don't want to be out in that. Luckily now, the worst that's moved out, but we may have more storms tonight. Here's a few more of those pictures sent into the WYMT Facebook page. Uh, this not quite as big uh, sent into us from uh, Bowling Darlene over in... Uh, Bus Kirk in Pike County, a little bit bigger than quarter size. Uh, that one was over from uh, Missy Dotson near McCarr. Another one from uh, Bus Kirk, uh, this golf ball size hail, Woodman, Kentucky. Uh, and they are hail coating the ground in Majestic and uh, Big Branch. So, ooh, a lot of hail there. Pinpoint Doppler, though, showing that storm that caused all that hail has now moved off to the east. We continue to track uh, rain on Pinpoint Doppler radar. And uh, right now, the majority of that rain back off into portions of central Kentucky. Uh, here in eastern Kentucky right now, no watches or warnings. There is a flood warning, though, off to our north. Also, some severe thunderstorm warnings. A severe thunderstorm and tornado watch through portions of southern Indiana and back into western Kentucky. We may see a new watch issued here later as more storms develop. Right now, Big Sandy, you're into the upper 70s with cloudy skies, some rain from London over to Manchester up to McKeon, Mount Vernon, back over to Somerset. Temperatures there just shy of 80. We may see more storms develop, though. There is plenty of energy still off to the west. Notice all those thunderstorms as they have worked their way west to east today, right along the stalled out frontal boundary. And we will see more storms tonight. Then there's a good chance again tomorrow afternoon and then on Friday. Now, Future View may be overdoing the storm chances just a little bit, but it's showing a pretty decent uh, area through here just before 9 o'clock tonight, then a squall line around midnight into around 1 or 2 in the morning. Then we clear out dense fog again tomorrow morning for the morning commute. So just be aware it will likely be a pretty slow go. And then tomorrow afternoon, more thunderstorms as temperatures climb to near 80 once again. Our main concerns through Friday for the severe weather threat, flooding. That's number one, but there's also a damaging wind and large hail component. And also, some of these thunderstorms may produce an isolated tornado. So once again, tonight, more rounds of storm, heavy rain, gusty winds, the main concerns. Foggy tomorrow, more storms Thursday, and then Friday just looks downright soggy, guys. Several rounds of rain. Quick look at the seven-day forecast shows. Pretty nice for the weekend. And then next week, the pattern goes back to the active side, back into the 70s with more storm chances. Not exactly what we need right now. It's not. Uh, the hail picture is incredible. You just don't see that every day around here. That, that is a, a rare occurrence around here to get baseball size hail. And again, we'll show you uh, more video and pictures coming up on that tonight at 11.